Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at the number nine of James McFat. I almost, yeah. We'll get that corrected. Uh, the number nine of James McFadden. Uh, I was obviously uh, very excited for the Casey Kane one that is coming out. Should be here in a week or two. Um, but we got our James McFadden in. It looks almost identical. So we're gonna go ahead and review it, take a look at our box and uh, everything that goes with it here. So let's go ahead and start up on the box. We can see here, we've got the Caravan Trailers number nine here uh, up on the box. We've got James McFadden across the bottom. Also the number nine up there on the top left or top right corner. 118th diecast and then Acme over there. Uh, just got James McFadden with Caravan Trailers uh, or Caravan up here, Casey Kane Racing. Going over to the side, we've got the big number nine 2021. Uh, Caravan is also listed over there. Uh, the other side is the exact same, and that's the only difference is the thing at the bottom. So uh, overall, it is a uh, pretty decent artwork. Uh, definitely, I, th I think the Casey Kane one's going to look cooler. I, I could be wrong, but I thought I saw the picture of the box. I thought it was cooler. So, uh, anyway, though, let's go ahead and take a look at this diecast here. Um, get it a little closer. I might need to get a little bit shorter box in here if I can. Um, where do I find one? Here we go. Let's drop it down just a peg, and let's take a look. There we go. That's better. Okay, so here we go, the Caravan Trailers number nine. You can see right off the bat, we've got the nice blue and gray and white paint scheme here. We got Curb Records on the front wing. We got Caravan across the the uh, engine cover and over across the, um, I don't know if you want to call that a door. It's not really a door, but it, it encases the driver into the cab. So whatever you want to call that part of it. Uh, but yeah, you got Caravan across there. We can see we got the exhaust pipes here. We got the steering, po or whatever you call this, steering tie rod, I believe or the steering rod, I'm not sure. Tie rod would be in here, I guess. This one, it's still a rod, but it goes off the steering post. Uh, but you can see here we've got, that's a protective bar there. We got the uh, black rims on this one, front and rear. Got our number nine up there on the top wing, along with caravantrailers.com. NOS Energy Drink, World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series logo. Hoosier, for the Hoosier tires. Casey Kane Racing, Napa Auto Parts, all of them are up there. We also have a bunch here. If it'll focus, there we go. You see a bunch of the sponsors over there, just behind the driver post, uh, or just behind the driver's seat there. Uh, you can see we do have the number nine again on the tail tank here. Um, there's where they fill that up at. Uh, going around to the right side, you can see we've got the Hoosier tires still. Nice black rims. You can see we got our number nine. Everything's pretty much the same as the left. Of course, the wing is lower. That always changes stuff. Uh, as we get around to the front, you can see we've got uh, on the front of the car here, uh, if it'll focus. You can do it. Let me pick it up. KKR Dirt. There we go. We got ASE or Team S ASE. We got McFadden up there on the front of the top wing along with Caravan across the top of the wing here. Right in here, you can see we've got factorycane.com. Then we go over to this side and we've got factorycane.com as well. Then you have the logos on this side of the wing. You can see we got the NOS Energy Drink World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series logo, along with a bunch of small sponsors, uh, probably contingency awards and things like that that they do. Um, with these uh these cars or this series i should say uh, let's go ahead and pop the uh top wing off here uh this is honestly the best spot to get anything autographed if you want to get something signed you get it signed right there in whatever color silver gold you know gray probably silver would look great on this one but yeah you get it signed right there you got mcfadden you got caravan and then just big open space sometimes there's a logo in there like there is on brad sweet's car but this one it's nice and open it's a perfect place to put an autograph um, but here you go, you can take a look at our seat detail there. You can see the Simpson belts in there. Um, we also have the carbon fiber seat. So you can see what that looks like with also the seat or the headrest inserts as well. Uh, but yeah, we got those seat belts. There's our steering wheel in there as well. Uh, you look down in there, you can see, can you see the pedals? Not really, it's pretty tough to see, but we do have a couple of gauges uh, right up in there. Uh, we also can pull the engine cover off right here like this. Very, very easy thing to pull off. Actually, it comes off, you have to assemble it. Uh, but there you can see our engine detail. We got our air filter up top there. Uh, there you see the exhaust pipes. We got our radiator up at the front. Uh, let's see if we go to the right side here, what we're looking at. There you see, uh, looks like some black valve covers on the silver engine block. Got a radiator up at the front. Um, let's see here, I'm trying to see if I can look in there. Looks like a couple, that's a coolant line that going through there. Um, not sure what these bars here are for. I don't know the sprint car world that well, but that looks like an adjustment maybe for this front wing. 
or something. Does it, uh, I can't see what it mounts to, so I'm, I'm not really sure what these two do, because it looks like there's a pivot point, like they're made to move, so unless that's something that allows you to set the front end or make it make the whole car lean or something, uh, I guess it probably attaches to the shock. I shouldn't I shouldn't be surprised. I bet there's a shock on there somewhere, just like the shock in the back here, which is something I've never shown off before. There's our rear shock right there. So if you ever want to add detail, you can probably add some detail to the shock. But uh, yeah, so yeah, we got really, really good engine detail though on these. These 118s are not cheap, but to be completely honest, these things cost $119 plus shipping, uh, brand new. And our current elites are costing like 100 to 105. So you're talking for 15 extra dollars, you can have a 118th sale sprint car over a raced version elite. Now don't get me wrong, I still have my NASCAR, uh, you know, my NASCAR collection and everything like that. But man, I'm telling you, these sprint cars are a really nice deal. Um, for the price, I think they're far and away better than the, the than the NASCAR cars j right now. Uh, the engine detail's better. The overall quality of the car just seems better. And I mean, it, if you're only getting one or two of them, there's a Tony Stewart, there's a Kyle Larson, and then there's a Casey Kane, so, so some former NASCAR guys. Um, but man, I love these cars. Uh, this one obviously being a, I'm a big fan of Casey Kane. So Casey Kane racing, this one's going in my personal collection, but, uh, highly recommend it for anyone that hasn't been go to a sprint car race at some point, anytime they're nearby, it's 100% worth it. It's an absolute blast. It's a lot of fun. I highly, I cannot recommend it enough. Get a pit pass, get in there and just have a good time. It's a really fun place to go. So uh, anyway, though, guys, that'll wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you're interested, I got these available on the website. You can check them out at rasdiecast.com. Got some 118s and 164s uh, on the site still, so that'll be linked in the description below. But other than that, this has been Race Grace. Thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.